your name is Colin Buller. Yep. And your date of birth is the 21st of July 2004. Yes. Come on through. Come on through. Toy room. So what's happening today? Check out. Can you check out? Yeah. 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 Okay, well, Indigenous health hearing is a big problem in Australia. Indigenous Australians are ten times more likely to have problems with their hearing than other Australians. Um, and that causes problems both at school and at home. And the children can't hear at school and therefore they don't learn, they don't speak well, they're often labelled as troublemakers. And that has implications for their schooling, their education, and for um, their growing up. So what we've done is we've uh, found these children that require these small operations which can make a huge amount of difference to them. And we've flown them down from various places in the Cape. They've all come down together. They've all been examined in the ENT clinic. And they've all had operations yesterday and today to drain the fluid from the middle ear and also to do an adenoid operation, and that, we have found, reduces the chance of the glue ear coming back. And then the kids can hear again. Yeah, great. And so what did you find, um, what was their condition like of their ears? Was it quite bad? Or? Yeah, so these, some of these kids have not been able to hear for two or three years, and they've had thick fluid accumulating in the middle ear space, and it's a bit like trying to hear with your fingers pushed into your ears, or trying to hear underwater. And the kids that just can't hear well at school won't perform well and won't pay attention in class. So their ears really needed sorting out. And so what is the reason um, for this build-up? Well, they have recurrent episodes of infection um, and uh, recurrent upper respiratory tract infections and that leads to this accumulation of fluid in the middle ear. And then a lot of them have blockages of the nose with adenoid tissue and that causes recurrent episodes of infection as well. Okay, and um, is this the first time something like this has been undertaken with kids up in the Cairns? I think it is, yeah. It's the first time these kids have been brought down to Cairns that I know of um, and have had these operations performed. Okay, and um, I guess how, how essential is this service that you guys are providing to them? I think it's vital for these children because um, they have such problems with their ears. Um, there's recently been a lot of publicity about um, hearing health in Indigenous children. And I think we really need to assess these children and perform these operations. Yeah, great. Anything else you want to say? Uh, just that it's fantastic to do these small procedures for children that make a huge amount of difference. So when a child comes into your uh, clinic room the day after surgery and says, I never knew that birds could sing, these are fantastic small operations that make a huge world of difference to these children.